What is up guys? Today I'm going to be filming five cool features of my 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium and I just put a brand new windscreen on my camera to reduce the wind noise so that will no longer be a problem in future videos. Hopefully I haven't um, actually tested it out yet but today's not really that windy so I don't know if it'll actually be that good of a test but there is a slight breeze so yeah. Hopefully though, when I go to car meets and do stuff outside in the future, there will no longer be that annoying wind that has been in a lot of my previous videos. So, but it's a beautiful, bright, sunny day out here. Um, I think it's about like 70 degrees. And today we're just going to go over five cool, interesting features that I have come to like with my 2017 Ford Fusion. Um, there are no like secret features or hidden anything, just features that I have enjoyed over the years of ownership that I just thought I would share with you guys. So let's hop in and talk about the first one here. Okay, so the first feature is when you have the car in, just turn it on there. Turn the music off there. So when you have the car in drive, so let's say you like pull into a parking lot or something um, and you go to turn you go to put it in park we and then turn the car off we don't actually have to put it in park you can literally just keep it in drive if you want and then turn the car off and it'll automatically go in park for you now i never do this because i don't know how good it is for the electronic gearbox but it is kind of a neat feature and sometimes i've been in a rush and actually forgot to put it in park and so that way you'll never have to worry about your car um, like rolling away or anything as long as the car is turned off. Obviously, if you don't turn the car off and forget to put it in park, it is gonna start rolling. But as long as you do turn it off, it will automatically put it in park for you. I do like that feature from Ford a lot. The second cool feature that pretty much all modern cars with a key fob have is if you leave your exit your vehicle when the car is still on, it'll actually beep at you, letting you know that, hey, the car is still on and the key fob is no longer in the vehicle. So let me demonstrate that for you. I have the key fob in my hand, the car is on, and I'm going to get out here. Close the door. It honks twice at you. So I, I guess you have to have the uh, the door closed for it to do that. But it's that's definitely a nice feature um, because then you know the key is no longer with the vehicle if you need to like leave it running. And um, I've definitely found that nice and handy before. If I have had to run in somewhere, need to leave the key with someone, sometimes it's just in my pocket and I forget, and I'll run back and put the key in the car with the person in there or whatever. So for this next feature, I saw this online. I don't know if it actually works or not. Apparently you can roll the windows down remotely. So you just press the unlock button once and then hold it down. Oh my gosh, it actually works. That is awesome. I have never done that. In my four years of ownership, I've never done that. And supposedly, it'll do it, it'll roll them back up if you do it again here. So you press that once, and then hold it. Just keep holding it. Maybe you have to do it with the lock button. Yeah, so you just have to do it with the lock button. That is awesome. That is super cool. That's probably a feature I'll start using. I kind of just forget about it sometimes, but I saw it in another car YouTuber's vlog um, a little bit ago and wanted to give it a shot myself. I like that, that is cool. So the fourth feature is one that pretty much all modern cars with a remote key fob or with a key fob have. It's just the lock unlock feature, but I have found out of all the cars that I have been in, I like mine the most. So to unlock it, you just put your hand in the door like this, and that unlocks it there. And then to close it, you just put two fingers on these little buttons here, and you can hear it. And then you can even see it kind of, well, this little, that light lights up there on the door, and then you can get in there. Cause like a lot of other cars have like a button you have to push to lock it on the outside. 
I don't like that as much. I like mine, it's a lot cleaner looking. It just feels nicer. You just have to brush your hand on it and there you go. And then to get back in it there. So that feature I have, I just love. I never have to get my key out of my pocket. Same with the back here, unlock it. Well, oh, oh, I bet you have to have this door closed. Yeah, and then you can lock it from any door. Cause I'm pretty sure on, I know my girlfriend and my friend's Grand Cherokees, they only have the lock button on the front two doors. So on my car, you can lock it from any door. And the next feature has to do with the remote start. So you press that lock button once and then, oh, and then you press that button twice and that just remote started the car. Now, let's say you go to remote start your car from inside and then you have, and then you forget about it and you start doing other things. It'll actually automatically shut off after 10 minutes, which is very helpful. You know, it saves on gas and it's better for the environment and your car's just not out here running um, for half an hour or an hour even. That would just be terrible. So really like that feature with the uh, key fob here. So that's definitely good. And then to turn it back off, I believe you can just press this. Yeah, you just press that twice again and it just shut the car off. So yeah. So there you have it. That is five features that I found that are really cool about my 2017 Ford Fusion. Um, no secrets, you can look all these up online, I'm pretty sure, but I just thought I would share them with you because I've enjoyed having them in my life. That one with the windows, able to roll them up and roll them down from the remote, that one's super cool. Anyways, I'm Miles. Um, this channel is just getting started with more car content. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you want to see next, and I will get that started for you guys. So, peace out. Also, let me know what you think about the wind noise after I put this little microphone windscreen muff on there, because I think it's going to help a lot. So, super excited about that. But yeah. There we have it.